Yeah. Uh, how do we get out of here? I think it's actually around the corner. This level design is garbage. Oh. There's a the lift. Okay, there's the lift. Don't attack me. <laughs> I don't want to have to go back. Oh. Interesting that those are just kind of going. Okay. Uh, it's, where's the where's the final room? Oh, convenient. Very convenient. Man, I remember trying to go through Hollow Bastion normally, and it's just like, uh, kind of, kind of glad that uh, that this version of Hollow Bastion is relatively easy to navigate. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. A time for Dragon Rage? Not quite. However, I'm really hoping we can stun lock her in in the uh, the traditional way. It'll be nice. Something equal to one. Oh, feeble darkness. Oh, please let me let me just let me just do this. She might just fly, but I hope it's dragon time. You've done well to make it this far, Beast. As your reward, I'll tell you why Bell rejected you. My dark magic requires hearts of utmost beauty. Bell was perfect. Deep in her heart, her love for you shone with uncommon radiance. But she guessed my plans. By denying her love for you, she put her heart beyond my reach. But she saved me. She protected me. She couldn't hide how she really felt. I've heard enough. Release her heart. Now! If you don't. <laughs> don't try my patience. Don't you realize why I'm telling you all this? Did you think it was out of kindness? I did it to erase your doubts. Now your heart is beginning to shine with love for Belle. I shall have your heart too, monster. Not, a not if we stop you. You dare to challenge me? Pitiful fools. All right, oh, she's going dragon. She's going dragon, we're good. Or not. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully this will work exactly the way I want it to. Main the question is, where's her hitbox? Yep, this is going to suck a little bit more. Okay, so we're full health. Oh. Okay. We're probably gonna have to do this one again. This sucks. Yeah, I don't think I'm surviving this. Yeah, there I go. Okay, so, yeah, the slides aren't working. It might work, but I have to wait for the platform, which is almost more awkward. Let's let's try that again. Yeah, the main problem is her hitbox is up high, which makes it real awful for what I'm doing. Okay, skip event, and let's try this again. Ugh. Yeah, if she was a ground-based boss, she'd go down. Oh, right. I gotta be ready to jump those. Okay. We're gonna just run away until that Mickey Mouse card shows up. I'm hoping it just shows up. 
to an uncheesable boss. No, it's absolutely a cheesable boss. We just have to find it. Unless I have to, like, step in the fire a bit. There it is. There it is. I just needed to be up higher. And we've got the, uh, we've got the combo. Okay. Please be another one of those zero cards. Nope. It is Beast. Well, we could... No, no, no. Let's, let's save Beast combo. I gotta be just a little on fire, I think. I don't entirely know what triggers it to show up. Actually, I think we just need to hit her? I could be wrong. I'm not seeing it come around. It's kind of awkward. This is it. I mean, I can I can still use the uh, reflect raid. Back off. Doesn't work as well as I was hoping it would, though. Uh, do we have any beast cards? Nope. Maybe we just need the fire to come by again. Yeah, save beast for the finisher. I was hoping I'd get a third beast card because if you could do a if you do a three card. Combo with the summon, like a companion ability, it actually does a ton of damage. Crit. And of course, we got stun locked out of it. Might as well heal while we're here. I think I'm just gonna have to hit her. There it is. Just wait long enough and we'll show up eventually. Okay. Nope, that's strike raid. That's strike raid again. That's the Sonic Blade that I need and remember. Come on, beast. Nope, that's not what I want. Did I get it? Yep, there it is. Okay. Let's use a heal. There we go. It's a little bit more awkward. We're not we're not crushing her in the way that I I was hoping we would. I mean we've got it down. It's just awkward because. Well. Should be obvious. Okay, let's get our cards back. I was hoping we get another summon, but it, it looks like the card just absconded. Yeah, that's the problem with Strike Raid. I mean, we could just hit her at this point. We've got, yeah, we've got more than enough. We can just stun lock her here. It said break, so you have to break her to get the card. Yep. Uh, it's fine. I was just really hoping we could do uh, infinite strike raids, but the platform runs out and a bunch of other things. Oh well. Yeah, if she was Captain Hook, she'd die in a minute. Yeah, if her whole body was a hitbox, she would have gone down in seconds, but it was not. Dragon Maleficent. Alright, and learn a new slight. Tornado. Okay, blow away enemies in a wide area, inflicting damage and stunning them. Arrow, gravity, and a summon card. Interesting. Bell. 
Thank goodness. Please forgive me. I had to be cruel to you. But no matter how hard, hard I tried, I couldn't hide my true feelings. I'm the one who should apologize for doubting you. I never want to remember feeling that way. So angry. So alone. Then don't. Let's replace the sad memories with happier ones, starting now. Well. There they go with all the mushy stuff. Yeah, I think it's time we go on our own way. Good idea. Let's keep moving. Now, do we have another boss fight? Yeah, we probably have to fight Riku again. I bet we just have to fight Riku like a billion times here. Okay. Which is the way out? This is the way out. And let's get out of here. Hollow Bastion was always such a cool, cool idea. Like, I like the inclusion of Disney, Disney products in the Kingdom Hearts series. Like, it's kind of neat. At the same time, like, I don't know. I, I really find myself wishing that, uh, that they had actually just had, like, a fully original plot and worlds and whatnot. Oh, the PS2 cutscenes. Oh, they look so bad. Guess he must have finally got tired of fighting with you. I sure hope so. I guess not. Maybe Rico doesn't want to fight with you anymore. Careful, you never know where Riku might be hiding. Watch him get us in the next room. It's possible. So what's going on, Vexen? Your Riku was supposed to counter Sora. What's he waiting for? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere to lure Sora deeper into the castle, right? I suppose we should just leave it at that, you know. Aha! Oh, I see now. I would have never guessed that. So sorry, Vexen. Silence! Predictable response. Forget it. Men without hearts are so boring. You're one to talk. As if you have such a heart to speak of yourself. That's enough. Marluxia. Vexen. The simple fact is that your project was a failure. You'd best not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You go too far! In this organization, you're number 11. I'm number 4 and I will not have you! <gasps> I've been entrusted this castle in Namine by our leader. Defying me will be seen as treason. Against the organization. Traitors are eliminated. I believe that's what the rules say. Who needs a half-baked good-for-nothing anyway? <gasps> Vexen, you cannot win against Sora. Pity to be so ignorant. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. Oh? Then let us watch as you prove it. What? None of us wish to be suspicious of a comrade. Your insincerity is comforting. You give a challenge like that to Vexen and he'll... seriously want to eliminate Sora. That would be an unfortunate denouement. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But I believe there is a certain promise that he made you. Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. And that must mean we've lost ten whole floors worth of our memories. Sora, it's still not too late. Don't you think we should turn back? Can't do it. Because 
That would break an old promise that I made. An old promise? What would that be? On the islands, I promised Namine that I'd keep her safe, no matter what. But I forgot it. I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. A promise between the two of us. That's why I can't leave. Now that I remember the promise, I have to keep it. Of course. We understand, Sorrow. If you remember your promise to Namine, then you still must have your important memories. Special promises like yours are meant to be kept. And water is meant to be drank. Lug lug. So don't some of the nobody nobodies here die before Kingdom Hearts 2? Yes, which is part of the reason why I was so vehement about playing this game. When I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I sincerely thought it was going to be just a direct follow-up uh, to Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, straight sequel. And I was so confused. Like, it started off and you're like, who's Roxas? Why are we here? What's going on? What happens? Wh where are we going? Why anything? And I was just so bewildered. I straight up didn't understand it. And the answer was... 1 out of 10, no Daffy Duck voice while reading dialogue. Due to Vac, I can't do it. I tried. I tried so hard. Well, I didn't try hard enough. But like, nah, I... I have a limited set of voices that I'm slowly expanding. Daffy Duck is not one of them. What's wrong, little fella? Oh, I'm looking for my friends. Are they around here? Looks like no one's here. Oh, then perhaps I'm looking for nobody. You're looking for nobody? I suppose I must be, but they don't seem to be anywhere. Oh, and all this ser searching is making my tummy rumble. Um, I wonder if there's any honey about. Oh, but if I stop to eat, I shall first have to stop searching. Why don't we look for your friends together? For nobody, you mean? No, for your friends. They might be around here. Let's go find them together. Oh, are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. And they're... Uh, are they friends who know my friends? I'm not sure, Pooh. Do you want to, want to know what denouement means? I have no idea what it means. Let me know. That's like a weird interruption, but whatever, we're rolling with it. But I know what it's like to miss your friends, so why don't we go look for them together? I'd like that, Sora. Uh, let's see, Wonder if you ever played Quantum Break? Nope, I have it, I think. But I've never played it. This is weird. Mr. Mr. Sanders? I've never done any of the Winnie the Pooh levels. <laughs> I'm a per terrible person. Give me the Moogle points. Denouement. The climax of a chain of events, usually when something is decided or made clear. Huh. Neat. Yeah. Whoa. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Oh, they changed the font for Moogle points. Oh, that's adorable. That's... Really cute, actually. And we're destroying all of their things. So this is the place to get Moogle points late in the game. Watch out! That was close. Are you okay, Pooh? Yes, I seem to be. Where'd that pumpkin come from? 
Yoo-hoo! I, I'll admit, I haven't seen Winnie the Pooh since I was three, so I don't remember any of their voices. Hello, rabbit. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Would you help me sort the vegetables in my garden? I think he... I don't remember. So the pumpkin was yours. Let's see. Do you want to sort the vegetables? Sure. Okay, sort a total of 30 cabbages and pumpkins. When you see triangle, sort the veggie by throwing the keyblade. Sort the cabbages to the left with square. Uh, cabbage to the left, pumpkin to the right. Mistake countdown starts at 6. Once it reaches 0. Okay, so... Cabbage to the left, pumpkin to the right. There's no triangle there. What's going on? What's up, Shell? Why are you poking me? I... Okay. I guess I'll... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I never watched a whole lot of Winnie the Pooh. It was... Oh, that's what he sounds like to me. Oops. I'm making mistakes left and right because it's like, throw your keyblade, and I'm like, what? Why? I shouldn't have to. Well, let's try that again. I'm messing, uh, I'm messing these up. I want to do it, though. Yeah, because there's something about, like, throw the keyblade, but I couldn't... I didn't really explain why. But yeah, I watched Winnie the Pooh, I think, a couple of times when I was a kid. We never owned any of the uh, VHSs of Winnie the Pooh. What ended up happening with uh, Winnie the Pooh was we went over to my pastor's house when I was a kid. And... And uh, it was like a dinner party or something. Oh. Dang it, Pooh! And it was like a... Oh, sorry, I'm actually kind of focused here, which is weird. This is a really boring minigame. Um, but we went over for like a dinner party or whatever, and as usual, you know, you put the kids in a room, let them play with toys, except for... Okay, apparently that counts as a mistake. I only gotta get three. Okay. Ugh. Okay, well we've made it past 30, so that's all I care. As long as it's 30. Uh, but so we were all just kind of jammed into a room, and they didn't have toys, because apparently they didn't believe in toys. Toys were apparently, um, uh, uh, led to moral degradation. I think was the word. I learned the word moral degradation way too early. Damn it, Pooh. Uh, but so, so no, no toys whatsoever. They had like a Jesus figurine, but they weren't allowed to play with him. They could look at him. Uh, anyway, uh, so instead, they had a bunch of uh, religious children's cartoons and stuff. Uh, and Winnie the Pooh for some reason. So Winnie the Pooh is the was the, you know, obvious choice of... Uh, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh was the obvious choice of uh, what to watch, because the other stuff was just like... Jeez, I want to say it was Veggie Tales. I never liked Veggie Tales. They creeped me out. They creeped my brother out even more. Like, I think my brother had to leave whenever Veggie Tales was on or something like that. Um, but, so, yeah, just watch Winnie the Pooh there. And so I always associated Winnie the Pooh with that creepy-ass family. And there we go. We're done. <laughs> no, you mean the toy thing? Oh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. Some people have weird opinions. Thank you for the help. Please, 
take this, won't you? Cross slash plus. Cloud teleports behind an enemy and uses cross slash. Huh. All right, I might try that instead. I wonder what these balloons are for. You want to fly with the balloons? Sounds like fun. Okay, reach the treetop while collecting the prizes. Press circle to float up. A balloon will pop if you hit a branch or bees. If you pop all your balloons, game over. Mini game. That was bad. This is going to take some tr tries, I can tell. But yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. I just always associated Winnie the Pooh. With uh, that ex extremely creepy family. Um... As far as the moral degradation thing, I think I think that's just a kind of common ease. I don't even want to call it an excuse. Or element? But like I, I've heard it before, my uh my uncle in the later years was definitely um was definitely kind of I want to say losing it a little bit he uh he burned all of his video games yep. he burned all of his video games because they were evil I guess I'm not entirely sure what his logic was oh this is a bad time to have an itchy thumb like actually the worst can I pause oh thank you So this is Flappy Bird. Yeah, it's like a really weird, awkward Flappy Bird. Yeah, my thumb is like relentlessly itchy. Um, yeah, the cool uncle that went crazy with religion. Yup, that's the one. Uh, he was the one that interest introduced me to most games. My dad, my dad uh, deserves the credit for, uh, you know, Red Alert and Mega Man and a couple other things. But uh, oh, can I only have three balloons at a time? I was kind of hoping I could have more. Uh, God damn, this is making me so itchy. Is this the way I want to go? Well, as long as I don't go believe below two, I think we're okay. Oh, there's there were invisible bees. Damn it! I didn't. Yeah, it's hard to see the bees. All right, let's try that again. Okay, but yeah, so um, so he started to lose it a little bit. You know, he was he was always a little bit kind of a, a crackpot about a bu bunch of things. Not like a druggie by any means, but like you know, he just had some weird weird beliefs. Dude was going bald, and so he would both drink and cover himself in nani juice, which like don't do that. I'm not even sure you're supposed to drink nani juice. Um, but so. Uh, I don't know. He he was always just kind of an odd dude, but he loved games. And so whenever we go over to his place, you know, he had a PS1 with Tekken for a little while, which was really freaking fun. I think that was the first place I ever played uh, one of the Rampage games, which was really fun. Um, and StarCraft and Supreme Commander. Well, no, no, no. Total, total Annihilation. Supreme Commander wasn't a thing by that point. And a bunch of other stuff. You aren't supposed to drink Nani juice. What are you supposed to do with Nani juice? Uh, but I guess somewhere along the way, he found politics and religion, I think, within the same couple of months. And pretty much turned into somebody that I never wanted to meet uh, ever again. Because it was easier for me to kind of remember and mourn the uncle uh, that he was than actually know the person that he became. As weird as that might sound. 
because, like, he just wasn't... He just wasn't the same dude anymore. Okay, so those bees are on a long cycle. I was just gonna grab this balloon. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to go the other way. Oh. I was hoping I could just grab a, a cheeky balloon there. And... Invisible... Bees? Invisible bees? Oh, shoot. Did I hit quit? No, I think I have to do all of these. Well, I don't have to, but it's a good idea for. You're supposed to use a vaporizer. One of these things you stick essential oils in. Turns them into a gas for medical benefits. Great. And I think it's N-O-N-N-Y. Juice. I could be wrong. But yeah, I don't know. He just was losing it. Uh, just a little. Other things I very specifically remember, he started his own religion. He started, um, praying to fix people's, like, lost limbs and stuff. Which he sincerely believed he was doing. Which is really confusing, because... Well, they didn't have limbs before... Well, before or after, so... Really, I think he just kind of made them feel better. Maybe. Maybe he did, I don't know. Uh, but he, he was, like, super argumentative over everything. And of course, he would, uh... Oh, there's there's no iframes on this either. That sucks. I just got hit by every bee in the block. Uh, but he was very argumentative about his beliefs, too. So, of course, uh, he would pick fights with my dad. Uh, my mom and my dad. My, my dad's side of the family, I don't think I ever really liked my mother. It's such a stupid trap. But yeah, I don't think my dad's side of the family ever really liked my mother. And so, uh... When we kind of moved away, because my dad had a nice, decently paying job, uh... The family was always just a little bit snarky about that. Not too much, but, you know, definitely one of those where it's like... None of the... None of my other... You son of a... Because we get stun-locked by the first hit, and the bees are just like, Hmm, this is a good time to come in for a hit. Okay. Anyway, um... But yeah, for the most part, everybody was pretty polite about it, but... When it came to politics and stuff, I noticed that my relatives were very, very much like, Hey! You're... You're, uh, living in the liberal state of California. Let's send you all the reasons why Al Gore is evil. And it's like... You know, as a kid, I'd... I'd see the emails, and my parents would be like rumbling about it or whatever, and it's just like, um, you know, should I know any of this? And they're like, no. And then eventually, like, we went there for Christmas, and you can hear, you could hear everybody arguing about it. Uh. Which, yeah, that was, that was a weird Christmas, because, I don't know. Uh, learning about politics because your relatives are yelling at each other about it is, uh, weird. To say the least. But yeah, so eventually, he died, actually. I mean, I, I sound very glib about this, but he just randomly passed away, I think? Definitely made... Oh, that was a close call. Perhaps a bit more. Eventually, he just randomly passed away, I think, while I was in college? Uh, no idea why. There was, there was no, uh, there was no autopsy, because my grandmother, uh, kind of didn't want one. Uh. Begs the question, uh, why his wife didn't have a say in it? Maybe they were on the way out, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. I pretty much stopped talking to him after, uh, I think I stopped talking to the man sometime around when, uh, Tekken 2. Tekken, Tekken 2 was, like, the most recent Tekken game. So you can use that to date, uh, my relationship with my uncle. And he lived for, like, geez, ten more years, but I just stayed away. Because I knew at that point, anybody with a, an opinion so strong that they would yell, unless it was, like, actually something that kind of really mattered, as opposed to, like, you know, the King James Bible being the only 
uh, only acceptable Bible. Like, that That was straight up one of the first things I ever heard him argue about that. Ah, oh, those bees. But yeah, it was one of the first things I ever heard him argue about, and it was just the most inane thing ever. It didn't make any sense. I guess he had always been a little bit kooky, now that I'm thinking about it. Because this is the kind of guy that would, um... That would hunt through the, uh... The Bible for, uh... For hidden messages and stuff. I don't even care about getting all of them at this point. I just want to make it to the end. With a reasonable expectation of all the things I'm supposed to have. It hit me in the foot. Please, no more bees come around here. I'll be so mad. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get into an, a religion argument. More just an argument about people that argue about religion. I don't know, it's dumb. All dumb. Oh, that was close. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. He was just weird and crazy. It sucked. Because he was my favorite uncle at first. Now my favorite uncle is the one that's dying of colon cancer. Which also sucks. I haven't seen him in a while either. Okay, I think we're free and clear. There we go. Look who made it all the way up here! Are you all right, Pooh? Oh yes, Owl. I found it. Oh, oh yes, Owl. I found it rather fun. Maybe you could use a balloon to look for your friends. Pooh, you might, you might think so, young man. But serious problems arise when you arrive at your destination. Huh? Once you find your friends, how do you get down to them? You see, a balloon goes only where the wind blows, which is usually up. What if you saw your friends, but the wind kept them just out of reach? I'd rather have to keep looking for my friends than find them and not being able to reach them. You got a point. If you want to find someone, you best do it on foot. It can be quite exciting to stumble across a friend where you least expect them. Well, that's how... Um, uh, hmm. Well, that's... Nope, I can't do my poo voice anymore. Well, that's how I feel. I, I seriously, I can't. I don't know why. It's just lilting and like, woo. I, I can't do it. Uh, when I stumble across some honey. That's the spirit poo. Keep moving and keep looking. Thank you, Al. That's what I'll do. My tummy is anxious to find some of that honey. Don't worry, I'll help Pooh find his friends. Splendid. Here's something to speed you on your way. Faraga Burst. Shoot a large fireball into the air and rain down small fireballs over a wide area, yes? And yeah, what did you just walk into? I'm talking about my family. It's dysfunctional and dying. I mean, they're getting on in years. Colon cancer is not something that you die of quick either. I'll probably figure out when to go visit him at some point. <laughs> 